What's up, everybody? This is Craig here with Craig Dacey Financial Coaching. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make additional debt payments inside of every dollar. So you, you plan the minimum payments in there, and then maybe you make some extra money doing your side hustle or, or whatever. You get a little extra cash flow and you make an extra debt payment on there. How can you track that inside of every dollar so that it sticks with your total debt payoff without putting your budget in the red? So we'll be looking at that today. Now, before we do, I want to invite you to a free Facebook group, an every dollar support group. So if you're using every dollar every month to budget your money, jump in that group, whether it's your first day using it or you've been using it since day since the product came out a couple of years ago, come and join us. You can get some support from others, ask your questions, and just help, yeah, get some support systems going for people who are budgeting monthly, just like you. It's, it's a great place to be, and it's completely free, so I put the link in the description below. Join us there. I'd love to have you. All right, so I'm going to jump into my every dollar account. So this is the account that I use for all my videos. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom to debts. Now you'll see that this budget has some debts in here. And if you, you can set these debts up over here. So as I click on student loan, you can look and see that this is set up. I have a current balance, minimum payments, all that good stuff. If you don't know how to do that, I'll put a link. I have a video that shows all about that. I'll put the link to that in the description below as well. So if you're not sure how to do this, don't worry. Watch that video and you'll be set. So I have this set up. Now, you'll see that my minimum payment is $312 on here. I already have a transaction here, so I'm going to delete that. And so the minimum payment is $312. Well, let's say I mow a few yards this month and I was able to bring in an extra hundred bucks and the student loan is my smallest debt. So I can add a transaction instead of 312, I make a $412 payment. Track expense. All it's going to do is over here, it's going to track how much has been paid off and that's it. It's not going to throw off your budget up here at the top. So it's not going to put you in the red if you do it. It's just going to track it as a larger payment. Now next month, and it won't let me skip ahead. So if I skip ahead to August, let's take a look. And I come down to my debts, which aren't even showing up. So yeah, it's not going to let me skip ahead on these. Um, unfortunately, I wish it would. But what's going to happen is next month, whenever I open it up, the current balance is going to be smaller. It's going to be smaller by $412 because that's the payment I made. So that's how to make an additional transaction. Now, if you want it to line up, some people are just really like these things to line up. What you can do is let's say on your Visa card, which I guess technically was my smallest debt, but let's just say I have a 75 as my minimum payment and I'm going to put that $100 on my Visa card. I can just come in here and just change the planned amount to 175 bucks. Okay, that doesn't change the minimum payment up here. You see the minimum payment is 75. And what this is going to do is it's going to track anything over that as extra payment. Then when I hit new payment, I make a $175 payment. That's what's going to happen is now I have made a $175 payment. These two numbers match, which is nice. And we're all good to go. Now I know I'm over, but I just saw that red over budget. That's because I put an extra hundred bucks. Um, I would have to add it up here. So yep, if you're going to do it this, this way, um, you have to add in that extra income. So mowing yards, hundred bucks. So now we're good. Um, I still have to budget that eight, 85 bucks, but I'm not in the red anymore because I made that money. It's income. I would have to put it in there just like that. So it's going to track it for you that way. All right. That's how you can track your debts inside of every dollar. Now, if you come over to the right over here where you see baby steps, it's also going to be tracking it there for you up here on baby step two. It's going to track your debt snowball for you, which is great. It's going to keep you up to date on how far you are. We paid 587 out of 57,000. We've got a ways to go on this budget, but that's okay. So that's how you track it. All right. If you want to know anything else, if you want me to cover any other topics in a video, drop it in the comments box below. Feel free to email me at info at craigdacy.com if you ever have a question. 
Otherwise, join us in that Facebook group, and I would love to have you there hanging out in those discussions. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.